then would you say that you're, you're PJ off the field, but would you say Savage Pat is your alter ego on the field? I guess, I mean, I guess so. If that's, if that's what we're, we're going with. Um, I mean, out on the field, yeah, I'm definitely locked in. Um, I'm really intense. Robeson, play fake, back to throw his pass down the middle. It's going to be intercepted by Duzinski, the 45. Duzinski to the 50. FAU side of the field, 45. Duzinski to the 40, down the sideline, to the 25-yard line. And Pat Duzinski knocked it. When they came out, that formation, kind of how everything looked um, to our defense, you know, you could kind of see that coming a little bit. But, you know, our, de our defensive line got great pressure. They were all over the their quarterback, and, and, you know, he just was quick to get rid of it. Um, and that was their that was his first read. I don't really think he had the time to read it even, so he just kind of let it go, and uh, you know, I happened to, to be at the right spot. The linebackers had a huge game. All three of the starters had yeah. interception or pick six. So how cool is it for you as one of his best friends, his roommate, but also his teammate, to watch him get that interception? No, that's very cool. You know, I was his, that's his, I think it's second one of his career. So, I mean, it's cool being out there when you got it. You know, I was a, I always try to be the first one over there to celebrate with him. You know, I didn't, didn't miss a block, but you know, obviously, you know, it's a great, I mean, that changes the momentum of the whole game, especially that early in the game. You know, that was huge for us. And, you know, that, I mean, he knew that was coming. You know, he studied the game plan and he saw it coming. I saw it on the screen and I, st I spread it out on the field. And Joey's got this thing where he just like, celebrates and he like hops on, on Pat's back and just goes wild and I saw him doing that and I was dying laughing you know it's just it, you know it's it's great to see a teammate do it but then one of your best friends one of your roommates it's crazy you know it's awesome and I was so happy for him I was hoping he's gonna take it to the house um, I gave I gave Joey a, a little uh, some crap this week about him not blocking for him I said you were already celebrating before he caught the ball He's hit at the 34-yard line. Boy, the night's not full there. Pat Jasinski comes up, hits Evie for a loss about a half. Oh, I knew you could do it. Yeah. It's over. Pat is a, a very dedicated guy. Um, you, don't, you don't meet many guys like that that are, he's going to give you 110% no matter what the situation is, whether it be if we're cleaning the kitchen. You know, it, it's going to be it's going to be all out. And that's what I love about Pat is if you ask him to do something, he's going to get it done and he's going to give you everything he's got. And I think that speaks a lot about him as a football player, too, is that whatever the coach asks, it's, it's going to happen, you know. He spends more time in that film room than, than anybody I know and, and, and is going to know that offense like the back of his hand. Him and the quarterback probably about, have about the same knowledge of the offense. And I think that just speaks a lot about him, and it gives us a good look. I think it's the best thing that our offense could ever have is a linebacker that knows the ins and outs of every offense. He's going to study you all week until he knows everything that you're doing. And I think that gives our offense such an advantage is when we play linebackers like that in our conference, out of conference, whatever it is, we're gonna be prepared. A guy that's downhill is gonna run right through you. And, and I think that's what makes our offense better is getting to see players like that every day, like the Hems and Tituses and Joeys, and it makes our offense so much better. And so it, it benefits our team tremendously on both sides. He's one of the smartest players I've ever been around. I mean, he's watching film every day. You know, I every time he texts me every day, and you know, hey, you want to go in at 3:30 to watch film? Hey, you want to do, you know, watch film at the house? Hey, you want to look at this linebacker test with me? So, you know, you know, he's probably the smartest linebacker I've ever been around since I've been playing football since I've been here. And and then you know his effort. I mean, you'll see him out there. He's he's going 100% every single play. You know, flying to the ball. You always see him around the ball. You know, knowing he's behind me, I know that he's going to have my back. I know if, you know, if a double team comes, you know, he's going to do everything and get that double team off of me. You know, I trust him. If the A-gap's open, he's going to come downhill and, you know, make a tackle. You know, he's not going to miss that tackle. He's going to make that tackle. And, you know, I, I just trust him to have my back, you know, on the field, off the field. Yeah, give him the savage back. Savage Why are you smiling? Ah, no, no smile, Savage. No smile, Savage Pat. No smile. Savage Pat does not smile. Yeah. Come on. Another you want on the screen? Actually, I think the first time I ever heard somebody call him Savage Pat, it was my mom. 
But I, I'm sure it started before that. I don't know where she saw it, but she eats it up, loves it. And he's like, every time she comes in, like she'll make dinner or whatever, and she'll be like, where's Savage Pat? And I'll just start yelling Savage Pat. And he, he's not a big fan of it, but you gotta, you gotta give it to him. Pat's a heck of a player, and, and that's kudos to him, is to being able to flip that switch on and off. of When you step on the field, you completely become a, a completely different person. When he comes off, he's still that, that same nice guy. Yeah. I think it's just how I've, how I was raised and grown up. Uh, I have an older brother that's four years older than me, and um, you know I was always competing with him, and him and his friends, and, and they pushed me. They never took it easy on me, so you know I was always the one getting beat up. But you know, my dad, my parents, they they always told me not to, not to ever let that bother me or affect me. You know, just keep playing, keep playing hard. I can remember a time when they used to play football in the front yard and. Uh, you know, we didn't have a big, a uh, lot of grass in our front yard, and we but we were right up against the street. And I remember one time Pat came in the house, and he was doing everything he could to not be to not cry. And he ran upstairs, and I knew something was wrong, so I went up to check on him. And he had gotten tackled on the street, and he had road rash all the way down his whole side. And uh, but he wouldn't cry in front of the big guys because he knew if he did, they wouldn't let him play anymore or they knew if they got in trouble because they hurt him, they wouldn't let him play anymore. So um, he always just sucked it up and, you know, he always wanted to be part of the, part of the group. And, um, and that's to me, so when I see him on the football field today, um, to me, he's just that, you know, that four, fourth grader that got tackled on the street in front of our house. We always knew he was tough, that's for sure. He's not gonna want me to tell you this, but he's a little sensitive. He's compassionate, he's, um, he, he's very humble. He's always worried about the other kid. And he was the type of kid in the neighborhood that you know, other kids gravitated to. They, they go off and, and do things together and really um, kind of look up to him for whatever reason. But he was always the kind of kid that put his arm around another one and brought him into the group. Kaczynski again. Hey, way to play, Pat! I like it, baby! Way to play, T! I think he, I mean, to me, he is a savage on the field, but he's just a sweet kid at heart, um, off the field and at home, and he's just the quiet, the quiet one that, that keeps to himself and, you know, um, tries to always do the right thing. And he loves football, so I don't, I don't expect anything else than that on the field. He's going to do whatever he can do physically in a game to make sure that he does his part to make sure we win. And so being a savage on the field, yeah, it doesn't surprise me because I know what he's like when he's when he's playing. New tile, the quarterback, straight drop, looks right, throws his pass, is intercepted, Jasinski the 20. He's got it, Pat, inside the 19-yard line. And Pat Jasinski dropping back into coverage, gets the interception, and the Knights take over at the Temple 21-yard line. You said that you were kind of your brother and his friends picked on you whenever you were little, but would you say you were always soft-spoken even though they may have pushed you to be tougher and become the football player that you are today? Um, for sure. You know, I've, I think it was just, again, how I was raised. Um, my dad was definitely never um, one of those parents that was loud at any game, so it, that always kind of rubbed off on me. I'm, I'm surprised he said that, but um, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a pretty reserved guy myself, um, and uh, you know, I've I've um, you know, with all my kids, I took a very active role in their um, in their childhood. You know, we were every every night I would come home from work, and we would they'd be waiting on the on the curb, waiting for me to come home and play catch with them or shoot baskets with them or. Um, so, uh, you know, I have a really close relationship with all my children and um, like I said, I, I couldn't be more proud of Pat and um, I'm very, um, uh, it, makes, it chokes me up a little bit yeah, to hear him say that, you know. You know, I think that's, that's why I am the way I am. It's soft spoken and, you know, you don't have to be all flashy and and loud all the time. You can let your, your play, you know, show who you are. And um, I think a lot of people respect that.